I just wish we had the opportunity to play a few more years. Johnny Davis, thank you very much for allowing me to work with you and giving me the footwork. My shooting coach in my Toronto days, Jim Thomas, Sonny, and Pam Vaccaro. Back in 1996, going to that camp, being the last guy to enter this camp. And you give me that jersey, 175. <clears throat> One seventy-five. Nobody had a clue who Tracy McGrady was. You gave me that platform, and I played against the best players in the world at that time. And I left that camp, the number one player in the nation. From one seventy-five to number one. Thank you, Sonny and Pam. To my financial team. It's gonna be all right, Sonny. To my financial team, thank you guys. Made a lot of money in my playing career, and you don't care of it. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> to my agent, Arn Tellum, Bob Myers, thank you guys. To my attorney, Tim Hoy, I appreciate you. My assistant, Elisa Grable, 20 years. Thank you for organizing my life and my family's life. To all of my family, my siblings and, and, and friends, my brothers and sisters that are here, I thank you guys. I appreciate you. Mom and grandmother. Two women that kept me out of the streets of a drug-infested neighborhood. You know, one thing I, my grandmother instilled in me was patience. For all the other kids were out playing, I had to leave the, the house in the wee hours in the morning to go fishing with you for 12 hours. <laughs> Being on that lake, bonding with my grandmother taught me patience, endurance, and the ability not to sweat what I couldn't control. And you know one thing that you always did who was on that boat, whenever you wanted the beer, what was your sign? Psst, psst. <laughs> my, to my mom, always, always my biggest cheerleader, coming to all my games, and you were being the absolute loudest person in the gym. And, and even when I was a professional, you were the loudest person in the gym. And 20,000 people, I hear your voice. Thank you very much. Uh, but what you taught me is not to be that to my kids, so I appreciate that. <laughs> And two, my four beautiful kids, Layla, Lacey, Layman, Layden, remember this, your character is always much more significant than your reputation. Never forget who you are. Never forget that, and that you belong to God. You belong to God. Because who you are in secret is just as important who we are in public. Why? Because God sees both. Don't forget that. <laughs> to my wife, who I've been with for 20 years, God has given me a woman that has proven to be a beautiful mother, a wonderful wife, an amazing friend, and I thank God for you every single day. I love you. Now back to that elevator story I was telling you about. Although what I couldn't do with my wife requested me seven months ago and tell myself in that mirror that I deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, well, on this day, I can proudly say, yes, I deserve to be here. I am truly humbled. I'm grateful and proud to be in the class of 2017. Thank you very much.